what's up guys? Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to Swamp and Stomp. So I just uh, put down this big sow. We're out here in JW Corbett. This place is no secret. So um, anyway, this is uh, the first muzzleloader uh, kill that I've made. So I'm pretty excited about it. Hey guys, we're out here. Just uh, Mark just slayed a hog. Um, opener of a muzzleloader. There he goes. The hog slayer. Hey. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna walk over and uh, see if we can find it. Shouldn't have gone far. Got a little hog wall right here. So basically, what happened is I was sitting up there and uh, they popped out on this trail right here. Two two hogs and they uh, thought about whether I'd shoot them or not because I really wanted to buck this morning. They walked out to just about right here and they looked like they were going to head this direction but the wind's blowing down towards them so one of them caught my scent started sniffing at the air and then they uh they kind of turned around and started making a move so i uh i took aim real quick and all i had was you know a shot at the the back end and uh they started going into the brush right here and one of them turned his head sideways and uh i tried to shoot him right in the head so let's see where i hit him So here's the tracks from the hog. He shot it from. Right there. Jesus Christ, dude. Right through the spine, dropped her quick. It's she a was down fat sow. She is huge. Holy shit. I hope she's not loaded with babies. This is my first <laughs> muzzle loader kill. So. Holy crap, dude. It's about a 50 yard shot. You weren't kidding. Dude, she is a fatty. Wanna hold her head out there? God, she's fat. Yep. There it is. Jelly rolls. I just wanted to uh, show you guys um, the, uh, the shot placement, um, and, uh, the, the bullet that we're using. So we're using these, uh, Barnes, uh, TMZ Spitfires, and it's a all copper bullet. And, um, <clears throat> like I said, this is my first, uh, uh, muzzleloader kill, but Danny's shot quite a few things with a muzzleloader and, and he had experience with power belts, which is sort of what everybody uses. And uh, you'll hear a lot of people tell you that they break apart when they when they hit, um, and so they uh, they kind of they don't really do as much damage as you want. You want a nice hard impact, so you have that uh, that blunt force trauma. And so uh, we just wanted to show you that these uh, these all copper bullets they stay completely intact. Um, so this is the uh, this is the entry right here. Like we got good blood pouring out of there. Um, and then if I roll her over, here's the exit right here. And as you can see, it's just a clean hole. And uh, when we skin her up, we'll uh, we'll look at the damage that it did on the inside. So this is what the Spitfire TMZ did going in. That's one side. As you can see, it opened up real good, blew a huge cavity right through the shoulder, through the spine. But, um, you know, as you can see, what I was trying to do with this shot, I was trying to put it right behind the, uh, the brain, through the spine. Uh, that blunt force trauma is going to do major damage to the brain. Um, and because it goes right through the spine, she dropped right in her tracks. She didn't go an inch. Um, and this is just a really quick, merciful death. Uh, with a hog, it's a really good shot placement. Uh, I wouldn't do this with a deer, though, because deer just have much smaller heads and necks. Um, it's a lot harder to, to hit that mark. So with a deer, right through the shoulders is the best shot placement. Or the hog, this is my shot of choice. So these TMGs have a little polymer tip. It's so like this, this one. This is the tip right here, and what it does, well, you've probably seen it before, but this sits right in the tip of the bullet. So when it impacts, it flattens out. See, it's like all mashed up. Let me get it it flattens look. out, and it, uh, you see that okay? Yeah flattens out and it pushes the bullet it opens it up so that it does more damage so it looks like this did its job 
So this is uh, one of the bullets that we shot. As you can see, that's the the blue tip right there. So these are a Saboed 250 grain bullet. Um, they shoot pretty flat for a muzzle loader. Uh, they shoot the same at 50 and 100 yards. Um, this shot right here was about 60 yards. So, and it has a boat tail. Oh yeah, that's right. If you if you take them out, they have a, a mm -hmm. boat tail, so it really helps with uh, the long range shots. Here we go. See that? So this is a really good bullet. Uh, we advise you all to give them a try. Check it out. What time did you shoot it? Um, about an hour and a half ago. So, dude, she is his twin. She's 182. Uh, going down with it. 181.4. I'm gonna call it 930. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any video of the kill because I was an idiot this morning. I wanted to try out a new camera and I uh, I, I left part of the mount uh, on the other camera. Um, I've been kind of trying to play with different cameras so I can get better footage. So um, I'll show you real quick. Uh, what what this new camera what kind of footage we'll be getting in the future once I actually remember to take the uh, mount uh, Alright guys, there you have it. Time to uh, time to get to work. So um, make sure y'all get on the YouTube channel, subscribe, hit that little bell. Uh, it's Swamp N Stomp, letter N, not word and. Alright guys, we're gonna get this uh, this big girl out of here and cleaned up.